Kwanzaa, a celebration of African-American culture, is officially underway. However, many Kwanzaa celebrations throughout Northeast Florida look a little different this year amid the pandemic. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashaway has a rundown of events that are still happening. Kwanzaa is a week-long celebration of African-American culture. It's not a religious holiday, but it's a spiritual holiday, I would say, because it it's a great review for the end of the year. Vanessa Davis is the business and development manager at the Ritz Theater. She says Kwanzaa was started on the West Coast in the 1960s and has been celebrated in Jacksonville since the 1980s. Dr. Karenga in California um, did some studies and some other women and men in his um, cohorts and his colleagues kind of came together and um, thought about principles that the African-American community could use and thought about different ways to connect the community here of black and brown people back to Africa. There's seven candles, there's seven principles, there's seven days in the last week of the year, right? Kwanzaa is always the last week of the year. Swahili is a Swahili word, it means first harvest. Uh, and the principles are in Swahili as well. The principles are unity, self-determination, collective work and responsibility, cooperative economics, purpose, creativity, and faith. But with Kwanzaa, you do not have to be black, nor do you have to be African to celebrate Kwanzaa. Not at all, you know. Um, like I said, those are giant topics that I think everybody should be thinking about. No, you do not have to be Black to celebrate Kwanzaa. No, you do not have to speak Swahili to celebrate it. If you call the Kanara, uh, especially with the year like this year, it's important to come together in whatever way we can and um, reassess our year. Think about our purposes. Think about, you know, our, our creativity. Think about our self-determination and how we want to work with others in the community and um, move forward. The last day of Kwanzaa is January 1st. In Jacksonville, Zach Lajue, Channel 4, The Local Station.